Hey everybody, um, I am the, I am the one and only Matt Fremont. Uh, you are tuned in to the Free Matt podcast. Generally speaking, I have General Patrick Flynn along for the ride with us. Generally speaking, we are a libertarian roundtable discussion. Uh, as of lately, we have both been ill. That's why I've been absent. He's been absent also. But he's doing a lot better now. I am also. Um, I wanted to digress a little bit from my usually libertarian uh, articles and uh, stupid commentary, what have you. But um, I remember seeing this in my notes, and this is more of a cultural regard. Um, I've actually mentioned about why things should be more exclusive. Uh, uh, exclusive instead of inclusive. Everybody loves uh, diversity, inclusiveness, and uh, equality, but to be honest with you, I think being exclusive to exclude people makes perfect sense. Um, there was an article on, oh lord, it was uh, Microsoft Money USA Today, and it was from Rebecca King from June fourteenth of last year. Little aged, but it had a good it had a good thing to it. Um, some of the commentary I wanted to mention was this guy had went uh, he went to a restaurant and he was uh, well. How about this? I'll just tell you the title: Our restaurant dress codes racist and no longer relevant. Black patron calls out double standard after incident. Um, and I think it was uh, NorthJersey.com. Just bear with me on that. That's CJ Pace was wearing a 60 pair of joggers from the upscale clothing store uh, Zara Azara. And he said expensive jacket and expensive sneakers. And here's the thing. He said uh, when he and his friend arrived at the Ashford, a restaurant and club in Jersey City, New Jersey, for a meal... They were told by a bouncer they had to eat at an outdoor table because of the casual way he was dressed. Both him and his friends are black. And they said others were dining outdoors. But when they were waiting for their check, he saw a group of white guys with baggy sweatpants and baggy hoodies get let in. The whole crew was wearing what I had got denied for. Um, I was going to use this to boomerang something that in the in in the in the same vein of being excluded i think that more restaurants should have strict dress codes i think that um it's just as i've gotten older and it's funny because i'm wearing a t-shirt right now but i think places it would serve them better to exclude certain people and to exclude certain types of patrons I've said this about corporate restaurants not far from where I live, where I had uh, people I know that, that work there, and I was like, they should fire customers along this, this, this same nerve. And somebody says, well, you know, like, they don't want our money anyway. I'm like, it would probably make you more money if you were excluding certain types of people from your restaurant. And it's weird because... I'm not talking about race. I'm talking about trash. And the thing is, I've, I've been to plenty of places. I belong to a club where we have a we have a dress code, and I'm serious about that. And um, I don't think anybody really butts up against the 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 rules of the the club. But a lot of people like to get offended when they go to a restaurant and see this and I was like maybe you should just not look like trash and you were like well joggers aren't trash and I'm like well the restaurant says you're trash okay I'm sorry cry somewhere else well I've got these new trainers and they're they're really cool I'm like okay I don't have a restaurant where you need a coat and a collared shirt to get in I'm like screw your trainers or whatever I, I'm I'm Made that one up out of thin air, but it. the thing is, I think more businesses should say, you could go find another restaurant down the road that doesn't care, and I believe that you would make more money. I think there's a break-even point that says, yeah, I've been kind of too heavy on 
heavy broads. Just say that. Just be sexist and like, heavy broads need to wear flat shoes. And there's a point you're you're going to lose on that one. You're like, uh, you know, most people find some of these rules a little egregious. But um, you're talking about the problem with what uh, CJ was his name. The, the problem was that there was a bunch of idiots who blatantly didn't even these are white folks that didn't follow the rules either problem the, the problem is that the, the rules aren't being carried out at all it's not out of race um i want to exclude people that don't know how to dress from my restaurant people that stink and they're dirty i don't want them there it doesn't matter what color you are now um it says others were dining outdoors blah 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 they said the specifics are unclear. Now, there was no dress code listed on its website. They had a sign uh, that used to hang in the establishment, but it was called out, but it was removed. And, of course, this person's a model, so, oh, if they look good, they can wear trash to a restaurant, apparently. So, it's okay. Um... They even had an art. Uh, they had a picture at a place called Murphy's Law, which I find hilarious. By the way, it's a pub. They said dress code strictly enforced Friday and Saturday after eight. No flat, straight brim or baseball caps. Wear a hat like a gentleman. You can even be one of those posers wearing a fedora if you want to, or a black cowboy hat, even though you hate country music. No hoodies. Okay. Look, can't you find a different coat to wear? Serious. Can you find a different coat? Can you find something else? No ripped jeans of any kind. Uh, yeah, if you're over a certain age, can you just not look like shit? Sorry. No bandanas or do-rags. Okay. Just wear a hat. Don't wear a hat. There you go. It's, it's not cool. Well, I'm like, I'm sorry. There's certain people who can pull up Omar from who just died. Omar from The Wire. You're off the hook. Omar from The Wire is the only guy. He'll start whistling and pull out a shotgun. Let me see. No baggy pants, jean shorts, or sweats. Can you just not buy some clothes that just don't look like shit? Like, you're not in prison. Don't look like you're in prison. No sleeveless shirts, tanks, or jerseys, because it looks greasy. That's That applies to white folks. Definitely applies to white folks. I want to exclude greasy-looking people, like Mac from uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Like, like, I don't need jabronis in here. I was like, okay, or guidos or whatever it's called. I'm offending some Italians. God bless you. I, have, I love some Italian people. Um, no white tees. Um... Okay, I remember that stuff a long time ago, undershirts. Uh, I grew up and eventually came to the point where I don't need to wear an undershirt like it's outer clothes. Sorry, grow up. There you go. You're cheap. Go buy, go buy a real shirt. No camo, because it looks stupid. It's not outerwear. I'll fight rednecks on this. It's not outerwear. It's not a tuxedo. Screw that. It's not funny. It's not funny. Go buy a shirt. No Timberland work boots of any kind. Because work boots are work boots. Hiking boots, it's it's not cool. I don't know why, like, one or two people in in, in the rap game started doing that. And like, they're my Tims, yo. My Tims, my Tims. I was like, shut up and buy, buy regular shoes. Buy, um, I had a pair of boots over here. Um. Uh, Buy some suede uh, chuckas, man. Nobody cares. You can go to the thrift store and buy some chuckas and throw some some uh, throw some uh, some black on it, man. You can get them cleaned up, polish, and the whole nine yards. Oh Lord! And it says uh, incident brought to the forefront what many have been saying for years: dress codes are implicitly racist and target people of color. Um, they said that the issues of race, fashion was. Toward, tends towards comfort um, shut up I'm going to tell you this un, uncomfortably I'm going to tell you this 
there's a point where you're gonna have to be uncomfortable. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to grow up, just clean up, all right. And it says, okay, uh, what I'm arguing is what many others did. Dress codes merely ensure a certain standard, a way to guarantee that dining out experience is special, something more than a stop at the diner. Which it's funny because I like to get dressed up and go to the diner too, but never mind. Okay, depending on you ask, are they problematic or antiquated or good fun? It's not good fun. It's I think you need to exclude certain types of customer. The kind of people who would put any effort into getting cleaned up generally don't want to act like a-holes at a restaurant. Um, they might be Karens. You might have a really well, well a quasi well dressed uh, Karen, but of course they talk about uh, dress codes are discriminatory. That's somebody from Drexel University School of Law. Um, if they do not comport with appearance and grooming norms, they are engaging in discrimination. And here's the thing: I was like, I don't want. Uh, I don't want people who don't want to put any effort into trying to get cleaned up. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm like, I don't want somebody in joggers. I wouldn't want anybody um, with dirty clothes, trying on like mud. I don't want work boots. Um, yeah, do rags. Um, yeah, you can get cleaned up. That's it. That's just get cleaned up. Go. I mean, yeah, of course, the, the Ashford or one of these groups had to say, we're a multiracial ownership group. We have a multiracial team, and we serve a multiracial community. We are anti-racist. And, and the thing is, I was like, Judas Priest, it's just say you have standards. Like, I, I look, I'm people are like, say I'm prejudiced against poor white folks. I just... It doesn't take a lot of money to go to the thrift store, buy a button-down shirt, tuck it in, and, and buy even a pair of regular lace-up dress shoes, or just regular shoes that are just not dirty. It doesn't take that much. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry because I'm not sorry. It's garbage. And they were like, okay, the complexity of fashion. So, no. I'm literally going to run a place. Shut up. Can't we just dress up and clean up? We have lows, too low standards. Like, I literally have to lower my standards for people. Why? Why do we lower our standards? And it was like, oh, the so-and-so, we need to be f sorry. And I'm like, no, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Not at all. Um, and, of course, they mentioned the, 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 the future's comfortable. Somebody says I'm... Uh, you know, a fuddy-duddy from other, you know, like, no, guys, I was a beach bum who didn't wear uh, sleeve shirts. I had uh, blood on my on my jeans from where I cut up with my hands when we were getting in trouble drinking and stuff. And, it, you know, it mentioned about people wearing certain types of clothes, blah, 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 blah. And, of course, um, you know, the, the BIPOC population generally leads us in fashion. And I'm like, they, the earlier adopters are where we're heading in fashion. I'm like, some of this fashion, it died. And, of course, uh, it, the, these same people from Microsoft, or, uh, Lord, it was, uh, Microsoft shared it was, oh, Lord, it was a USA Today, which is not a credible, credible source of anything. But... Of course, they talked about, you know, the future is comfortable, hiking, you know, hiking boots, and um, they said even outwardly fa fa fancy restaurants are avoiding dress codes, um, and they mentioned about certain places not having dress codes. Um, if you're not going to have a dress code, raise the prices. I've always said that. Um do 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 Of course, they said, when every customer is dressed to impress... The ambiance becomes more elegant and refined. It keeps it keeps bad stuff out of it. I was like, you could put enough unpronounceable names in a menu and scare away people I've known. Um, and some of the people that you don't want to know, but um bum ching. Um, ooh, employee, uh, let's say, we're talking about, you know, business, uh, casual dress codes and stuff. And um, it kind of shifts around. People talked about not, you know, being, not enforcing things, but, 
Um, it says, I understand they don't want to get dressed up for dinner and want to relax, but I prefer not to see someone in a tank top. A dress code sets a tone. It sets the bar a bit higher. Um, look, I know a lot of people understood about my beach bum, my beach bum past, and you know, drinking and stuff like that. I generally had to hand wash my clothes sometimes because they stunk. But, um, I mean, the thing is, it's like people start getting grievances. They start crying. Like we're, I say this about people that, and this is white and black and and Asians and Mexicans, everybody, uh, you name it, they've got it. That we have lowered standards. Like, do we not have standards for each other? Like. Even inside of our own groups and outside of our groups, can we not say, you know, like, hey, we have a standard? Can we not say, hey, you know, can we not say something? Can we not? I mean, of course, they were talking about people that uh, dress codes, talking about dress codes going places, going to interviews and stuff. And, of course, there's people that are waffling, and it's just, a, okay, it was another dress code issue occurred at Jersey City, Jersey City Surf City, which is fun to say, by the way, June 2020, because 2020 sucked. Um, Maya Murphy, and this is according to an article, a resident of New Jersey blasted the Waterside Bar if the dress code was brought up at her job interview. Uh, she is white, wrote a Facebook post that went viral claiming that at the interview she was told by her interviewer the demographic shift that happened at the restaurant. We can't have that here. We have a dress code. We enforce it. Do you get it? Um, I've actually told people that uh, you, I mean, discouraging black customers or any customer if you're a business owner and you and you're like, okay, we have a, a strategy. Like, I only want redheads with you know uh, paraplegic redheads, and I'm like, okay, I exclude people that aren't redheaded paraplegics. I was like, yeah, you're gonna lose money, what have you. But if that's your thing, okay, I'm not saying I like it because I've been to places that blatantly they catered to a clientele that was not of the southern accented overweight bald white guy type place there's a place in atlanta like that oh yeah i could go there nobody would care but i'd look like an idiot and you know what um i've heard i could have fun i could hear, hear hey depending on who's there you could be probably given enough eyeballs and figure out it was your time to leave but the thing is i've said this about you know customers Excluding customers can make you money, and I'm not saying I want to exclude black people or white people. I want to exclude all sorts of people, and yeah, I, look, I've been places that ex that did their best to exclude white people from going, and they their clientele, which was out of an old trucking building, it was a club for like uh, let's say, I forgot what the Spanish term was, but uh, it's like a Mexican term for like cowboys, and it's basically just like a Mexican cowboy club. It's something different now, but they changed the name of it, and they changed the ownership and what have you. But the thing is, oh yeah, they were like they, they the people will blatantly tell you if I showed up in a tuxedo, they're like, yeah, we're kind of gonna ignore you. We prefer that you wear pointed boots and a cowboy hat, which I don't have cow pointed boots, but a cowboy hat. I'm also not. Uh, I'm also not Mexican enough to be call myself Mexican. And of course, Surf City went on to apologize. We have made mistakes. We are listening and always learning. In coming months, we'll review our staff, our organizational structures, and our cultural through a lens of racial equity. And here's the thing. Of course, the FAQ says, "Is there a dress code?" No, and they waffled so they didn't look get butthurt people protesting them um dress codes yes uh my place i go to has a dress code i prefer that uh, uh i mean there's time places i go that don't uh i mean hell even the the health inspectors have said something that never made a lot of sense to me that 
they can tell people without shoes or shoes without soles. Bear with me on that one. That they can't go into a restaurant. And oh, it's a health issue. And I'm like, I've never heard this. Like, no one's ever explained it to me. They allow you to go to the bathroom and then walk out of the bathroom back to your seat. Uh, knowing that there's not a continual pool of sanitizer in the in the bathroom floor. And you've got the, the feet the whole nine yards and i'm trying not to be the germaphobe here but it's a thing that i've been somebody explained to me one time about food safety it would make sense for a continued mister for about six inches down hitting the ground in certain spots including the bathroom to try to like continually sanitize certain surfaces knock down the amount of piss and shit germs that come out of the bathroom sorry i had to say it that way but here's the thing Going back to the dress code, circling back around, um, I think there should be more dress codes. It should apply to blacks, to whites, to Mexicans, Hispanics, Asians, uh, Laplanders, especially Laplanders. Uh, let me see, Norwegians, Swedes, uh, Croatians. Well, pick on some Croatians there. Um, people from the Dalmatia reg uh, region, which are Dalmatians. They don't have spots, but we call them Dalmatians anyway, because it's funny. Oh, Filipinos, why not? Let's go pick on some Filipinos. God bless those folks. I like them. Um, ooh, who else? Colombians? Perhaps the Colombians should be picked on. Um, people from Paraguay, they definitely need to be picked on. Even Canadians, because uh, Canadians, who aren't from Canada, by the way, they should be picked on, but Anyway, looking in my coffee cup, it's empty. Uh, we should end on that. I'll try and leave a link below. It's a uh, MSN uh, for USA Today. Uh, it's a garbage. It's just garbage links. But uh, let me see. Hit notification, like, um, do 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 do. Subscribe. Yeah, always subscribe. And down below there should be uh, links to Twitter, Gab. Oh Lord, what else? Which. Um, uh, I told you Gab and Twitter, Facebook, uh, oh, hate email, send me a hate email, get excited, send me a hate email, feel free to comment, I usually don't erase them, even if you disagree with me, I don't, generally don't block or report them, if you're operating in good faith, if you don't like me, go for it, man, I'm, I'm not that, uh, I usually don't lose any sleep over that, I lose sleep over plenty of things, not that, but, um, please, uh, hey, keep her sleazy, Please take care of yourself and uh, be nice, man. Wear decent clothes. Don't be an idiot. See ya.